Hey everybody, this is EMDSD14R with a another cool Hot Wheels video. This is part 20 of my new Hot Wheels cars. You guys have already seen this, these cars in my um, new trains, new cars, and 400 subscribers video. But I'm putting them in their own separate video because that's what I said I was going to do. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. Put them in their own little separate video. Um, this is number 20 of my new Hot Wheels cars. 57 Chevy, the, the Chrysler Thunderbolt, Hot Wheels bus. I call it the F-117 Stealth car. That's what I call it, but I don't know what it's called underneath. It doesn't really have a name. The Kenworth, what's this called? Oh, that's a Kenworth. Snub nose, cab over. Five, uh, um, Thunderbird, Ford Thunderbird. The, um, there we go, sorry. The um, tractor, silver and black version. Thunderbird, I already said that. I don't even know what this one's called. This one's one of the McDonald's series cars. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. And these are all mint. No chips on them or anything. Then we have the 2003 First Editions. Number 10 out of 42. 8 crate. Then we have the um, anime series. The Oldsmobile Aurora GT Si. The 1995 model series. 7 out of 12. Dodge Ram 1500. And I got this from Kmart. This is the AEM S2000. So all these came from Nicholas Smith Trains. Wow, this one came from Kmart. So let's open these babies up. And this is from the Metal Collection. And it's got the Hot Wheels Highway 1968 to 03. That was pretty easy. Oh, wow. This thing is nice. Wow. Although the, the the bottom of it kind of feels it kind of feels a little a little dainty in a way. Like you squish it on there, it kind of feels like a little squishy there. But this is really nice. Look at that engine in there. Nice. Rolls good. Um. Oldsmobile Aurora. GT. SI from the anime series. You guys can see how yellow that plastic is. It's a testament to how long it's been sitting. Wow. Oh, this is nice. Look at that. It says Unit 1. Cool. That is mean. Look at that. Oh wow, and it's got it's a, got a wide body kit on it too. Well, it's actually a wide car, but that is so mean. In a good way though. 1998. I was eight years old when they made this one. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. Awesome. And let's do the 15 Ram Dodge Ram Ram for 1500. Oh, and it says removable camper. Ooh. I look forward to this one. Let me see if I can get it open. Come on, come on. There we go. Wow. This thing is mint. Of course it would be mint, but look at that. And they said removable camper. Now I do have a couple of the Dodge Rams, but... Hmm. How do you open this thing? Oh, there you go. Sweet. There it is. There's a removable camper part. Right there. My, I have a, I have another Dodge Ram 1500, but it doesn't have the removable camper part. Uh, the detachable camper. It doesn't even come with a camper, actually. And then you just, I guess you just slide it in like this. Now you guys are looking at my bed. 
trying to do this with one hand is not really there. sorry about that y'all there we go well, that's pretty simple it's got the flared fenders on the rear rolls good it's pretty heavy too I still don't understand why they didn't I okay I understand why because they didn't want to make it weak if they punched out the back window there they could have put clear plastic in there though but that's okay it's very detailed very detailed it says 1994 on here but it says 1995 on there hmm you'd think they'd be the same year that's okay I ain't complaining and then now for the AEM S2000. I really was skeptical about getting these at first, getting this one at first, or any of them, because I didn't like the way the blue finish looked on most of them. But this one, the way it looks, it looked like a a chrome finish, you know what I mean? It's, it's a lot different than the any other ones I've seen. It's kind of like a bluish chrome silver color. And this one was actually the best one that I've seen. So I had to snatch this one up. Now, I do have one of these. It's not this one, but it's a silver one. It's when they first came out. All silver. And um, looks just like this, except it's silver. I don't know if the details are the same, but uh, it's very nice. Rolls good, but that paint is just awesome. But yeah, there you go. That's that. This, this is them right there, and this Aurora is heavy. It is really heavy. It is not no toy. It is really heavy. This is a real nice concept car. Haven't I haven't seen anything like that since. This is a really nice one. Oh, I'm gonna have fun playing with this truck. I think I got a couple. I think I got a trailer for it. I'm not really sure though, but. It's mint. Now, I did take it out of the bag, and I noticed there was, like, a little scratch there on the front. Probably it wasn't there in the other video. I don't know if it was there, but, yeah, other than that, it's mint. There's the Hot Wheels bus, one of them. Well, I have, like, three of those now. Oh, oh yeah, by the way, these can actually be removed. Um, let me see if I... Oh, that's my face. <laughs> Yeah, take a look. Yeah. I don't know if you guys noticed, but it's it's a tractor. And it can be removed. You just snap this back in here. Like so. You take these little things down here and you pop them into these holes. See if I can get them in those holes. They're already in the holes. So, anyway, that's it right there for that one. Another Hot Wheels McDonald's edition. Rip looks really mean. I like it. And then the Ford Thunderbird. This one, I think, is the removable hardtop version. I don't know if... I know they had a convertible, but then they had a removable hardtop version, too. Yeah. So that's them, everybody. That's them. Hot Wheels and... New Hot Wheels and Matchbox Cars Part 20. Hope you enjoyed it. You guys be cool. Peace, y'all.